Nietzsche said that understanding comes through confrontation. And I'm one of those people that just want it confronted enough to understand it. The ocean was something I always had a connection and love for. I felt like I was gonna always be around it, you know? It was just one of those things that I could always count on. I was born in the Azores in 1975. I came here when I was three or four years old, and I've been here ever since. When I was like five, I saw my first New England beach, my first New England waters, had my first like fishing experiences, and I saw my first shark. I guess being a wildlife cameraman or working with wildlife at all is just, it's interactive and it's not something you plan out. It's just on the moment. So some of it's clinical, some of it's like you're looking at your camera, you're trying to figure out if everything's working right, if something's flooding, if something's scratched, if there's a piece of lint or bubble that somehow statically attached to something. The other side of the clinical aspect is this more guttural, emotional, you can almost say like gut feeling. You don't always know where the fish is gonna be. You don't always know like how it's gonna react. You don't know that that decision you just made was a good decision. Honestly, the things that you love could pay the ultimate price in the end. I can't explain my shark fascination, you know. That experience of seeing a shark look at me, like everybody that says they've seen a photo of a white shark, well, has a white shark ever seen you? Shark passes by you and that eye like goes up and down your body and you just know for that fraction of a second that that thing just took you in. Just the same way that you took it in. And for me, in a personal level and really in my heart, that's the thing that drives me. It's those moments. My name is Joe Romero, I'm an artist and an underwater filmmaker, and I film sharks. <laughs>